Here's another video with Brie. My first video, which was my magic, magic. Wow. I decided to do another video, and this one's gonna be more of like a makeup tutorial, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, let's jump into the video. I'm gonna do this like sunflower type look that I've done a couple times that I really, really like, inspired by Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. One of an amazing Spider-Man movie. Anyways, so I'm gonna start with Dr. Brandt Pore Refiner Primer. So it's like this type of shade. Skin tone, color. I just rub this on the face. Especially my like T, my T zone, like right here and right here on my cheeks, because those are the places that like foundation kind of falls off of. Sometimes I do like foundation and face before I do my eyeshadow. It just depends on how much I want to cover up fallout. When you do your eyeshadow, it's obviously like powder. When you put it on, sometimes it'll fall out under here and it's harder to get off when you have foundation and all that stuff on already. You can prevent that by two things. You can either do your eyeshadow first or you can put translucent powder before you do your eyelids and then wipe that off at the end. I don't like that because it makes my face like feel cakey. Now I'm gonna use this MAC Paint Pot. The brush that I'm gonna use is the M410 brush. It's like a flat like concealer brush. So I'm just gonna like pack this everywhere around my eyelid. Even if I put it where I don't necessarily need it, it doesn't really matter, it works with everything. And then I take my Beauty Blender and I just kind of dab it a little bit to like get all the excess off. Once I do that, I'm going to grab my James Charles Morphe palette. This is literally my favorite palette. Please disregard how disgusting my hair looks. For the first color that we're gonna do is code James and it's like a burnt orange. I'm just gonna take that and go like up here where my brow bone is. So lightly I guide it along my brow bone. Once you get to where your tail, your brow tail like cuts off like right here, I take it and I like pick it up like where your eyeliner would go. I'm gonna clean that up later. A lot of these colors in here are packed pigments, which is basically like pressed color. They're like super pigmented. You're basically just gonna like blend down into darker like browns into the crease in the outer corner and then the inner corner a pop of like yellow i'm looking to see how even it is and it looks pretty even on both sides i'm just gonna go to the next color i was using the m441 brush i love the morphe brushes they are incredible the next i'm gonna take 10 percent off which is this color right here next to co james i'm gonna take that color and i'm gonna do it's like right above where my crease is and I'm just gonna also like blend that with Code James. Sometimes you kind of like lose the color up top. I'll just dip back into Code James and kind of touch that up. Once I do that, I'm gonna grab my Morphe M456. It's like smaller, so I use it for my inner crease. And so I'm gonna grab no beans. I'm just gonna go in the crease. As I'm doing that, I'm carrying a little bit of the excess out to like blend it in. Sometimes I'll grab the 441 brush and without putting any color, I'll just like go over just to kind of like blend them. Now that I did that and it looks even, I'm gonna take my M506 brush and I'm gonna go in Benny, this one, dip a little bit, tap it into my corner, kind of like blend it in. And then I'm gonna take this, which is the 456, and I'm gonna blend it out. I don't even have foundation on. Oh. Now I'm gonna take my M224 brush and I'm gonna go in with no beans. Half of the crease is gonna be blending this outer corner back in. So I'm basically gonna do like a mashup of 
no beans, 10% off, and code James. So you see, I just kind of did that. The most important part is the yellow. And I'm gonna like take a ton of that and then pack that on my lid. So when I start my makeup, I always use Thayer's Witch Hazel. I'll like take a little cotton thing and put it on like my cheeks mainly and my nose because my cheeks are like so red. Then I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty. Just started using this foundation. I literally love it. Like it's good coverage. It doesn't feel too heavy. Their shade range is incredible, which my shade for foundation, 150. When you get to this, you want to drag it up like where your eyeliner would be and then just cover up that tail. I use Fenty's, con Fenty's concealer because when you use both foundation and concealer, you want your products to have the same ingredients so that they blend better than like sit on top of each other. I try to use the same brand. It's 150. You're supposed to wear a concealer that's lighter than your skin tone because you put it in the points where you want to highlight versus darken. They had like sets of popular foundation shades that were pre-matched. At least they did at Sephora when I was there. So I literally picked them both up at the same time. You can tell this is definitely lighter. Basically, I like pull this out, put it on like a little triangle underneath here, and then on my nose, and then I do like a little thing. And then there's a zit right there, so I'll cover that up. I cover that up, definitely. And there's like some redness. This is the translucent powder that I use. I love it. It makes my face feel really soft. So I just tap off some into the little lid. I use the same beauty blender, and I'm... Basically, you just blend this out. Now, I take the same beauty blender and I use the flat edge. Kind of pinch it and I dip it into here and then I tap off the excess. And I take it and I put it under my eye. Basically, like melt it into my under eye. And I found that it helps under eye bags a lot. So then I'm just gonna kind of put this powder everywhere just because that makes like an even layer. I love the way it makes my skin feel. It makes my skin feel really soft. So then I'm gonna take my Morphe 527 and like basically like dust it off. Now we're gonna finish this eye look. I'm gonna take No Beans on this Morphe 124 and I'm gonna like put it under my under eye but blend it. Up, do it with my finger a little bit like, like this as we're like going in I'm gonna do like we did on the top lid transition from no beans to 10% off to code James after you finish the under eye with the transition. I'm gonna take the same brush, which is the 124 brush, and I'm gonna go with the yellow, put it in the inner corner. I'm gonna go back in with the 224 and touch up the lid. I'm gonna go ahead and do contour now. I have this contour kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm gonna use the bottom middle one. I think it's called Fawn, and I'm gonna use my Morphe M439 and do like circular motions upward so you lift your cheeks up rather than down. And then I'm gonna go like on the sides of my face and try to blend it in my hairline. Clearly like my skin tone in my hairline is lighter than this contour. I'm basically gonna go around my entire face. It will just like chisel your face, make it appear thinner. After I use that, go back into my James Charles palette and I'm gonna use the Morphe E4 brush. And I'm literally gonna tap the top of 10% off and tap the top of Code James. And it's kind of like, creates like a bronzed effect. 
And I'm gonna take the Morphe 527 and kind of just blend it out. That is contour done. Now I'm gonna go in with blush. So I dip into the Mary shade in the James Strong palette and I literally just kind of dab it and then blend it. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. I use the Jaclyn Hill palette. I use this shade, Central Park. I'm gonna take my Morphe M158, the spoolie, and then like the ankle. Brush my eyebrows up so you just see where the natural like bottom of your brow is. And I just dip the tip of this in there. And I start hair like flicks in the front of my brow and then like blending that into my brow. Start to define the bottom and then go through the top and kind of making it how I want it to look. Now it might be a little bit too big when you first do it. But after I do it, I will brush through. Brushing it through helps brush the product into your brow versus it just being on top of your brows. So it makes it look more natural. Once I brush it all out, I'll reshape them. So once they're done and you like them how they are, I'm gonna take my concealer, put like a little dollop of it on the back of my hand. I'm gonna take this concealer brush and basically like grab a little bit and under and on top of my eyebrow basically blend that out with my finger now for the most fun part highlighter so i'm gonna use my morphe m501 brush and use the ring light shade and i'm gonna use this all nighter setting spray and i'm just gonna go up like right on the top of my cheekbone and take the back side which doesn't have any product and i'm gonna press a little harder to kind of like blend it out for the other side and then I'm going to do the same thing with this to do my nose contour, do the same thing. Sometimes I'll take my finger to try to blend it out just because my nose contour tends to like stay on the very top of my nose. And then I'll take my finger and go and do my under my eyebrows. Sometimes if I'm feeling a little extra, I'll do my cupid's bow. And then I'm going to take a little on my finger and I'm going to put it on the inner corner. So now I'm going to take this the setting spray. And give my face a quick little like kind of soak but <laughs> spritz recently i've been using milk kush mascara and oh my gosh not only is the packaging so cool but it's literally the freaking best mascara okay, so that is the finished look all done hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to try to post once a week. See you in the next one.